All American Speedway have complained about the noise coming from the racetrack and, of course, all of those cars. Well, now it appears that their complaints are being heard. Sabrina Rodriguez is live in Roseville to tell us what's being done, Sabrina, to deal with all of these noise issues. That's right. There is a small group of residents here that are making noise about the noise here at the Speedway, but we also found plenty of other neighbors who aren't really bothered by the noise at all. But even still, the folks here at the Speedway say they're going to do what they can to be good neighbors. It's no surprise that a racetrack would cause a ruckus, but that noise is what's causing its own rumbling in Roseville. You can hardly stand to be in the house. You can't hear the television. You can't listen to the stereo. All you hear is this tremendous, awful noise. A group of residents living near the Speedway say the trouble started when improvements were made to the track in 2007. In order to make the off-ramp and the on-ramp to where it was safe, it had to be made a little bit wider and also had to be made a little bit longer. But a Placer County Grand Jury report found that those improvements were done without permits or an environmental impact report. Current CEO of the Fair Association, Joan Bartolik, wasn't with the board when the improvements were made, but says they're taking steps to dampen the decibels. We've completely replaced all of the speakers. Um, they're more directional. They're not, um, they're not going out in all different ways that we can't control. She adds they're working with the county to find other solutions. Though neighbors like Carolyn Redman, who moved right next to the track in December, don't mind the noise. And she's even found her own solution. I could turn my volume up if I need to. I'm not here all the time. And she's not the only one who feels that way. I think it's kind of neat when you hear it. I can hear them announcing the race. Mm -hmm. It's pretty clear right here, but it's not annoying to me. It goes part with the excitement of living near a fairgrounds, I mm -hmm. think. There's going to be lots of different activities. Earlier today, we talked with a spokesperson from Placer County about when this issue is going to get resolved. He, say, he said that it is a priority, but because it takes some time to work out an actual contract with the Speedway here, that it will take some time. They don't know when that's going to happen. As for the folks here at the Speedway, Joan Bartosik, that we spoke with earlier, she said they're being proactive about this. They've actually limited the hours that races are run here and that they're actually doing their own meeting with a sound consultant on Thursday for a new study and see if any grades can be made guys. All right, we'll see what works. Thank you much, Sabrina. A 20-year-old homeless man 